Community arts is about communities, it's about people, it's about the Tangata, the Tangata, the Tangata, the people. So it's not just you doing the art that will stay by itself. You are here to work with people. I would say be prepared to let go and relinquish the control. The co-authorship of work is really interesting with a community. What does that mean? I think it's really important to define that for yourself. I think having um, someone who is a liaison or is a from that community working directly with you in a decision-making capacity is essential. It can't be ego-driven. It can't be about a saviour working alongside people and allowing them to nurture their empathy and um, everything you do is to empower them to own their own work, to voice it in the way that they need to. Most importantly to me is to respect them. You've got to come down there, not to be up there and look down at them. You've got to respect and try and understand the needs. Why am I here? I'm not over here as you know. I want to share with them my experience, my success. I think communicating and consulting and finding out what it is that the community want and most importantly what their image of a successful program would be. There has to be that ownership um, for a program to succeed. As artists we're, we're inundated with ego, like it just spews out of all of our pores because we're you know trying to get the most bestest piece of work and get thousands for it and you know have the book after us and all that sort of carry on. You've got to ditch all that and you've actually got to put that into enthusiasm to a group and kindness. That's where you've got to put it and you've got to put your ego into helping people to get their ego so that they become really proud of what they're doing and then you can get your ego back when the project's finished and it's really amazing but in the process of it all, you really have to, you know, exchange it for kindness. So for me, as long as I know that my intentions are really solid and I can always go back to a place of integrity and intention and go back to looking at what the main intention in terms of outcome is that's of benefit to the most amount of people, if I've got that really solid place to keep going back to, it enables me to kind of move forward with always keeping that in mind and checking myself. Is the intention here right? Is that coming from the right place? Is that going to support the outcome? Is it going to add value? There's a, there's a series of que checks and questions that are always in place that enable those decisions to be made in the right way. You're dealing with people, uh, you're dealing with personalities, uh, you're dealing with time and resource restrictions generally. And so the ability to navigate requires high levels of diplomacy, patience uh, and tenacity. Uh, the ability to get to the outcome requires a really honest respect uh, between the different participants. Uh, there's times when uh, you won't agree and where you have to fundamentally respect the views of others and take them on board. Ask your people what they want. Yeah, go to them and be expected to deliver something that you were not prepared to.